hosted by Ibasi, Oakland Community Organization and the San Antonio Business Association. Together, we represent over 3,500 3, parents, people and faith, families and business in the East Lake and San Antonio neighborhoods. We speak many different languages, but we all have one voice when it comes to our neighborhood. We want our neighborhood to be a safe, supportive place to raise our children and conduct our affairs. Last summer, when we asked 500 neighbors what will make this neighborhood a better place to raise children, the sex trade and crime on International Boulevard were still some of the biggest concerns. Our purpose tonight is to share our community's concern with our public officials, present to them our strategy, concrete proposals for change, and ask them for their commitment to work with us in these issues for real change. I think it's time to send a message that you can't do business and you can't make money off the lives of young children and do business in the city. I want to tell you too that um, I want to invite all of you. We are declaring at the Board of Supervisors April 18th through April 24th Sexually Exploited Minors Awareness Week so that we can get more support for the type of actions that you are taking today. Across the entire United States, there are 400,000 children and youth under the age of 18 who have been exploited. I mean, this is shocking. This is absolutely shocking. We have to stop it. We have to stop it today. Yay! Um, I got here today. I got a chance to um, ask a number of youth um, what they felt like were solutions to the sexual exploitation of their um, own peers. And the two things that they said were more programs, more prevention and early intervention programs for girls and young women to be able to empower themselves and know healthy alternatives from themselves. And the second thing they said is more jobs. More jobs for youth and more jobs for their families. Something the superintendent has committed to with his new vision for the school district, community schools, thriving students. It's based on the idea that a school is not just about academics, but about social growth, and that in order for high levels of learning and social growth to occur, we have to provide a nurturing environment where children feel safe and valued. That's what's going to produce the results that we want for our schools and for our communities. Hello, San Antonio, let me hear you. That's right. This is your neighborhood, this is your community, this is your city. And it's enough of these guys being out here on the streets, exploiting these young girls out here on these corners. It's time that we say that we're going to take our streets back. Not talk, but literally do it. I, I want to thank everybody who's a member of Ebasi and OCO and the neighborhood merchants. You are doing an awesome job of organizing and taking back your neighborhood. This is just fantastic. And, you know, when I became a city council member, what I said I wanted to do was make sure when neighbors got organized and when they empowered themselves that the people at City Hall listened to what they wanted and that we work with you. And I think this is a great example where the county, the city, and everybody is coming together to solve the problem of this horrible motel that is a magnet for prostitution in this neighborhood. And, and attacking the broader problem of child exploitation and prostitution all along International Boulevard. If you're willing to come out, if you're willing to take back our streets, if we're willing to make a difference, stand with me, come out here, and let's make a difference together.